Hello everyone! In this video I'll show you the architecture of different countries in Dubai International City and tell you why living here is so cheap. And the most interesting thing that I would like to show you is freshwater lake, which few people know about and which is hidden from the public eyes. The name International City speaks for itself and corresponds to its theme, because the main feature is the embodiment of 10 countries' architecture in small clusters. Each of them complies with the architecture of the country that it was named after. Persia, Greece, Spain, Morocco, England, France, Italy, Russia, China and the Emirates. All these clusters united make one big residential district. In the heart of international city there is the Central Business District or CBD. Although the word business is not quite appropriate here. This is the same residential cluster without office buildings. Just buildings are tall. In fact, the difference from the rest is that these houses have gyms, swimming pools and underground parking. Moreover, the rent here is higher too. Despite the symbol of internationality in the name of the region, there is no ethnic diversity. Mostly citizens of Pakistan, India and the Philippines live here, regardless of the cluster's names. Considering that the area's capacity is only for 60,000 people, it is heavily overloaded with cafes and restaurants. In every third house, there are at least one or two storefronts. Buildings in clusters are not high, on average three to five floors. There are not a lot of people. Therefore, some food outlets have if not negative profit, then very small one. The district has quite developed infrastructure. All essential goods and services are present. Grocery stores are scattered throughout the area. There is at least one hairdressers and dry cleaners in each cluster. There are also clinics, kindergartens, centers of additional education. Some establishments underline the tradition of their nation, for example, Pakistani bakeries. Dragon Mart is at the entrance to the district. This is a giant wholesale and retail center for Chinese products. In the electronics department, in addition to the fakes of branded phones and game consoles, you can find interesting gadgets of the Chinese design that deserve attention. But in general, there is a huge range of different types of products at affordable prices. Dragon Mart is more than a kilometer long. The building itself was built in the form of a dragon. The roof looks like scales and the main entrance looks like its head. The cost of renting in international city is very low. For a studio flat you will pay five and a half thousand dollars a year. And for one bedroom apartment nine thousand dollars. A bed space will cost only one thousand dollars a year. International city is far from the sea and the city center. This causes low rental price. Also, there is only one kind of public transport. It's a bus. It takes an hour to get to the metro station. The big mystery is the freshwater lake. It is hidden behind the high fence with the barbed wire. Tourists do not go here and most of the inhabitants of Dubai do not even know about its existence, as technically the entrance to this territory is not allowed, but those who came are not out. And here all types of fishing and hunting are prohibited. What is the secret? It's because this lake is a bird sanctuary. It is called Al Warsan. The entrance to the territory was planned to be from the desert side, but now there is just an arch of the main entrance. Behind it there are alleys lined with stone. Residents of the surrounding houses love this place because they can play cricket here. 
This sanctuary began its history in the mid-90s. At this time, the building of international city began. But in 2008, there was a financial crisis in the Arab Emirates. By that time, they began to build a neighborhood with a lake. And this building had to be frozen. On the territory, there were foundations of buildings. It may look like this site is abandoned, but in fact, the neighborhood is monitored. All greens on the territory are regularly irrigated. There was a quarry in place of the lake, which was dug long before the crisis. Its average depth is 3 meters. From the beginning of construction, excess fresh water was poured into it from the treatment facilities, which are nearby. The quarry was filled and turned into a lake. As the water pouring continues to this day, the lake does not dry up. Over the years, an entire ecosystem has formed around it. Many species of plants, mammals, fish and reptiles grew here during last 15 years. And most importantly, the lake attracted the attention of a large number of birds. There are more than 150 species here. I repeat that hunting and fishing is prohibited, but feeding fish is another entertainment. To which order, family and genus the local fish belongs is unknown. Underwater photography shows similarity with river perch, although this fish is not a perch. Its size is on average 10 to 15 centimeters. The fish is hungry, and the lake is literally overrun with fish. You can feed her a whole loaf of bread in just 5 minutes. In the evening, at 6-7 o'clock, there are traffic jams on access roads. Everyone is returning home from work, and you can feel vitality. At night, International City is very calm. If you come too late, you may not find a parking place. The cafes, hairdressers and grocery stores along the streets are still open. And in the yards, it's already very quiet and there are few people. Since the district is not a touristic one, there is very little evening entertainment. There is only one bar in the area, which is in the only hotel on the outskirts. That's all about International City. If you liked it, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. It was the ball guy. Bye.